as a supplementary to the previous video on kinetic technology with a link in the description. This very short video will address a myth that kinetic technology restricts airflow and hinders performance relative to non-kinetic tech. Kinetic technology relies on narrower cyclone tips, and so it's reasonable to assume that this would restrict airflow and thus require more powerful motors. This assumption seems to have become a myth, which does a disservice to the technology, its manufacturers and viewers on the internet. The UK version of the Kinetic Big Ball 2 has 160 air watts, whereas the non-kinetic version has only 20 air watts more at 180 air watts. So clearly the kinetic technology is, at worst, having a negligible impact on airflow. Furthermore, as has been touched on in previous videos and will be addressed more thoroughly in a future video, air watts don't directly translate into cleaning performance and many more factors are involved. This is clear from the non-kinetic light bulb, which only has 90 air watts of suction, yet achieves the best average cleaning performance of any vacuum across all floor types. And this is principally due to its cleaner head design and the way it interacts with the flooring. Many subsequently argued that the sub 900 watt motors imposed by the EU would bring an end to kinetic technology. This was shown to be false when the sub 900 watt motors in the UK Kinetic Big Ball 2 cylinder model used the kinetic technology, showing it's easily doable without overly powerful motors. The reason for this is that each machine design, according to the promo, is tuned specifically for performance with the resources it uses. Many have also pointed to the difference in motor powers of equivalent product versions between the US and the EU, with US models having more powerful motors and more air watts. Again, air watts don't directly translate into performance. One possible explanation for this I've encountered is that in the US, the market is different and marketing is a numbers game. Bigger numbers translate to the idea that it's better, which isn't strictly true, and one-upsmanship is rife. Smaller numbers are often wrongly seen as representative of inferior products, and rivals capitalise and peddle this fallacy. Unnecessarily powerful motors are less efficient and noisy, but unfortunately, noise is also wrongly equated to power. Some don't feel they've got as powerful a product unless it's loud. The EU's motor power energy caps help reveal this myth. The EU light bulb, for example, shows that by using an ultra-quiet 65 decibel 700 watt motor that produces just 90 air watts at the floor head, you can achieve the greatest holistic cleaning performance of any current vacuum. Quiet and low power now gives the best results. So in summary, kinetic technology doesn't restrict airflow, doesn't reduce performance, and isn't prevented by using only 900 watt motors.